In this video, we're going to look at the Export to Picture feature, which allows you to export an entire page or a selection of objects as an image file. To export an entire page in a publication, drawing, layout, or website, we ensure nothing is selected. Then find the Export to Picture feature, typically found on the File menu. The Export dialog presents us with a number of options. At the top, we can configure the width and height, or specify a DPI value. If we have made a selection before exporting, this drop down will allow us to control exactly what is exported. Our next option is a choice of formats to export to. PNG and JPEG are common web and general storage formats and offer varying levels of compression. Serif metafiles are serif software compatible files that can be used to maintain maximum quality across different serif programs. TIFF is a good choice for a lossless, maximum quality format and is especially useful for maintaining clarity and color fidelity in photographic images. Let's choose JPEG and find out how compression affects the final quality. At 90%, we can already note a small output file size, and this drops as we reduce the quality. But in turn, we'll notice compression artifacts start to appear. If you are exporting images for the web, finding a good balance between file size and quality is paramount. If you are struggling to reduce the file size of an image and maintain satisfactory quality at the same time, you might also want to try scaling it down using the width and height options. Using Joule or Quad Preview is a great way to evaluate not only different compression levels, but different formats as well. If we enable Joule Preview, we can select the second preview, then choose a different compression setting, allowing us to compare the two choices. If we select the first preview, we can change the format to PNG and compare different formats as well. As our exported image contains text, we can also benefit from checking Super Sample, which will help reduce aliasing on the text, especially if the final image will be scaled down. In Draw Plus, we can export an area of a drawing with pixel perfect accuracy using the Export Overlay feature. First, we'll right click the ruler and choose Pixels as a measurement value. Then, we'll activate the Export Overlay and resize it to match the drawing. If we look on the Transform tab, we'll see the width and height have decimal values. We can type in exact values if we wish, but Draw Plus will actually round these up when exporting anyway. Nevertheless, we'll put in some neat numbers before clicking the Export option. Something we can explore with the PNG format is setting the bit depth to 32 bit. Rather than a white background, we'll now see it become a transparent matte. This allows us to place the exported image onto any kind of background, which is especially useful for web graphics, where the background might be anything from a single color to a gradient or image. Finally then, we can maximize our compression and click Export, then choose where to save our image. That's all for this short video. For more information, See the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.